Hi, my name is Dave Falcaro. Um, I thought I should take out some time to address some of the issues that uh, some online people have spoken about, um, drawing negative attention toward my book. So, uh, not that I'll be doing this a lot, just that I'd like to clarify some things, um, speak the truth on them, so that uh, there's no inconsistencies or uh, perceived um, delusions, intentional delusions, and uh, we can clarify some things and clear some things up. Uh, the first thing, um, will I making will I be making changes to my book? Um, one person had asked, uh, will I be in the next edition making any changes? I will be. Uh, my plan is to clarify any anything that I may have gotten wrong in the past. Um, there are little things that. Uh, that I may have missed, you know, I tried my best. Um, did research for many, many years, and um, I think the book stands for itself. It, it speaks for itself. But yeah, there are some things that I, that I need to change it, and I'll be clarifying that in this video, what I will be changing. The next is, uh, there are statements about um, my previous sensei, my previous instructor, and his connection to Islam. Where did I get those statements? Most of them are direct quotes. From, uh, from arguments that we had, and uh, not just arguments, but discussions. So when he, when he went about finding his new faith, um, it, it was a difficult time for us. Um, we kind of butted heads, and uh, there were a lot of other things going on. Um, I'm a devout Christian, and, and he was changing into his, his new faith, uh, Islam. And although I have uh, Islamic students, and although I have a lot of Islamic friends, um, because I guess our relationship was so close, you know, I don't, I don't really want to get into the details as to what happened, but, uh, but yeah, I think I'm pretty accurate on, on what was told to me that, um, that was depicted as correctly as I could make it in the book. Um, there was uh, there was a question about a student that I had trained with named Gus, and uh, one of you had pointed out they, they found out the exact height of the man, and they said he's not seven foot, he's like six seven or something. Um, I've trained with some pretty big guys. I myself am like, um, what am I? I'm like not. I'm like. Uh, Five ten, five five nine and a half, something like that. So when I saw the man, when I trained with him, he was huge. We just called him seven foot. So when I wrote the book, I said the giant, the seven foot giant, or something like that. So if he's six eight or if he's six six seven, something like that, I apologize. I'm not trying to mislead anyone. So that is another inconsistency that I will make certain that I get correct. Um, this is there. There was something else. Uh, Joe Frazier's gym was the gym that my sensei had trained in. Some of the book is, you know, going off of memory, and I tried to clarify everything I could with my sensei, sending him transcripts and things from the book um, to make sure that it was correct. That one slipped by me. Um, what did I, what did I say? What gym was it I said? Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes gym. I said Larry Holmes gym. Somehow I saw the two gyms in my head. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I, he had told me about that like 10 years ago, so. So um, another another thing that uh, that someone was critical about um, was um, was kind of a kind of a ridiculous thing. Uh, people were writing writing me stating that uh, I didn't teach physical technique in the in the book, and uh, they should have read the title. The title of the book kind of tells you what the book's about. And in the title, it doesn't say, I'll be teaching you physical techniques. Um, they wrote bad reviews on uh, some websites stating that, um, they're not, that their technique isn't going to improve. Well, I think that they should try to understand the philosophy and possibly uh, the psychology and the tradition that I'm putting forth here. Um, maybe that will help. Maybe it won't help them. I didn't claim to teach physical technique in the book.